having sex on the landing the other day because I think if you've got an upstairs space, it's important to use it, right? So <laughs> we're banging away on the landing and, <laughs> and he was sort of kept looking over this side. I was like, what is he up to, right? I could see he was sort of like peering over. And then I realised, I know why he's looking over there because at the end of our hallway, we've got a mirror. So what he's doing is he's like watching us have sex and he, he obviously likes it because he's watching it a lot. So I was like, I should have a look because I'm sure that looks great. <laughs> I, wa I wasn't ready for what, <laughs> for what I saw next. Because like, you know, it's that thing of like, you know when you go into like a change room or, or like any kind of mirror, you're like, you're used to yourself like this, aren't you? You're like, yeah, that's sort of what I expected. Like when you look in the mirror, you're like, yeah, yeah, used to that. 31 years of age now, yeah, sort of used to that. And then one day you're getting changed in a change room and you're like, yeah, okay. And then you're, suddenly there's this new mirror here. <laughs> my very own sidebar of shame, right? Just here. <laughs> that you don't know is there until suddenly you're like, what's my dad doing in the dressing room? <laughs> in my bra and my jeans. <laughs> that mirror is how you find out that you have this as a resting face. <laughs> so imagine that while you're being filled in on your own landing, right? <laughs> Unbelievable, right? I was not fucking prepared for what I saw. So I looked, I was like, can't wait, this is gonna look so beautiful. We're gonna look like, just <laughs> like a beautiful, sexy lava lamp just rubbing against each other. I looked over and I was like, holy fuck. I said it out loud. I went, holy fuck. <laughs> because I didn't realize on profile, I basically, I look like a darts player. That's what's going on. <laughs> I lost a little weight a while ago, but it hasn't all gone in the right places, so I've got what looks like a, a bum bag filled with sand just <laughs> hanging here. I think I've always been like this. I've always, like, chased the D. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's because, like, I, I come from the countryside, right? And uh, I remember all my mates were going off to university when I was 18. I didn't actually want to go to university. The only reason I went to university um, is because, and this sounds very weird when you try and explain it to people from cities or towns, but I, as a farmer's daughter, grew up in the middle of nowhere, and the reason I went to university is uh, my horse had just died. <laughs> I, I know how it sounds. Uh, uh, and I'd fucked every guy at home at least four times. I'd run out of things to sit on. So I was like, right, <laughs> time to cash in those UCAS points. <laughs> Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to university and just bang loads of people. I wanted a BA on in sucking knobs. That's where I was with me. <laughs> because I was 18 years old and I'm from the countryside, I didn't understand anything about anything, right? So I thought, right, there's only one thing I need to have sex with loads of guys. It isn't to be funny or kind or interesting. There's only one thing I need, and that is to get all of my pubes waxed off, right? <laughs> now. I'd never had anything waxed before, so my friends, God love them, they were like, go to a salon and have a professional do it. And I was like, no way, because I was a piece of shit when I was 18. <laughs> and they said, why not? I said, I'm not going to go to a salon and stand there in a pair of paper knickers in front of some girl with less GCSEs than me. <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible. I should have known it was fewer GCSEs. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Look at the people loudly clapping the grammar joke. We got that. We got that. <laughs> To whom does the laughter belong? To the smug fuckers, that's it. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm a strong, sexually confident woman, I'll just do it myself, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I wish you were all there. <laughs> so I went to Boots, and it's an absolute minefield if you've never done anything like that before, because as women, there is not one part of our body they won't convince us to hate for money, right? <laughs> So you get wax strips for your eyebrows, for your top lip, for your arms, armpits, just everything, right? Sideburns, everything, right? And they're all different shapes. That's how you get you, right? So you get ones for your bikini line. They're sort of like the right shape. Or you can get big, massive ones for your legs. And I thought, I'm not paying more for less. <laughs> Some of you are ahead of me here. <laughs> so I picked up these A4 sheets and headed to the till. <laughs> I was so excited to do it, right? I was, because I'm a farmer's daughter. I'm tough, it's not gonna hurt me. I was excited to do it. I was like, when scientists go to the Galapagos Islands and all the animals just skip up to them because they've never been shot before, that's me and my fanny and boots, right? 